Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. In Helena, we had some snow around this morning. Now we had more snow around this afternoon and early this evening. And some of the snow that we saw over the past few hours was heavy at times with extremely low visibility and some high snowfall rates per hour with over an inch per hour snowfall rates. And on the Opportunity Bank iCam, the heavier snow is now done with, but we still have some light snow falling in the capital city right now. And road conditions are less than ideal with many roads currently snow covered. And that's really the case throughout much of central and north central Montana. Montana right now. Road conditions are not that great. We are dealing with low visibility in some areas as well. This is a shot from Deep Creek along US 12 and then Boulder Hill, Seabin, as well as McDonald Pass dealing with those snow covered roads and roads will continue to be snow covered for a good chunk of the rest of this evening and tonight. So if possible, just delay travel until tomorrow when road conditions are better and when we have better weather. Now, as we take a look at satellite and radar, you can see that snow that has been around throughout the day and some of that snow has been heavy at times. Right now, the heaviest snow is currently east of I-15 and that band of heavy snow will continue to work its way eastward as we go through tonight. Around the Helena area, the heaviest snow for the most part is done with, but we still have some light snow around right now and that will continue to be the case as we go through tonight. Winter weather alerts remain in effect for a lot of Montana. All of North Central Montana has been upgraded to a winter storm warning and that winter storm warning remains in effect until sometime tomorrow. This is where two to six inches of new snow accumulation is expected. For those under the winter weather advisory, including around the Helena area, that's in effect until 5 a.m. or 11 a.m. tomorrow for one to four inches of new snow accumulation. And in locations under these warnings, winds may gust as high as 55 miles per hour at times. And then in northeastern Montana, we actually have a blizzard warning in effect for locations right along the Canadian border. This is where potentially up to 10 inches of snow accumulation is possible as we go through tonight and into tomorrow. Now, as we take a look at future track, again, the heaviest snow is now east of I-15, and this main batch of moderate to heavy snow will continue to work its way eastward as as we go through tonight. Behind this main batch of snow, it will be a little bit drier, but there will continue to be some scattered snow showers around as we go through tonight. And with that main batch of snow, it'll be in northeastern Montana once we get past midnight, and then it should be primarily out of the state once we get into tomorrow morning. And then during the day tomorrow, we are going to have partly cloudy skies throughout the day, and there will be a few snow showers around tomorrow, but most of the snow shower activity tomorrow is going to be in the higher elevations. And then we'll have decreasing clouds as we head into tomorrow night with most Mostly sunny skies expected during the day on a Sunday. In terms of how much new snow accumulation you can expect between this evening and tomorrow evening, really not that much more. Most of the snow is done with for us, but an additional coating to two or three inches is possible with slightly higher amounts possible in the higher elevations. There will be a bit of a breeze around tonight in some areas, but the wind won't be a huge issue east of the divide. And then as we head into tomorrow, a little bit of wind around during the morning, but the wind will decrease as we go through tomorrow with just a light breeze around as we get into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Now overnight tonight, low temperatures are going to be in the teens for most of us, but some locations will get down into the single digit. So it is definitely going to be a cold night. And then for your day tomorrow, high temperatures will be in the 20s and the low to mid 30s. So it will be a little bit warmer than it was during the day today. Even warmer on Sunday, most of us topping out in the 30s with mostly sunny skies. Back in the 40s next week, dry on Monday, a chance of rain and snow showers on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then mostly sunny and mostly dry as we head into the end of next week.